This year, MSI made the mistake of flying me out to see their new monitors at Computex 2025, and as always, I shoved my way to the front to bring you guys all the details, including a new firmware update that might end up fixing QD OLED's biggest issues. So first, let's jump into all the new models, and then we'll discuss this massive firmware update that I think could be really good. And let's start off with the MAG 272 QPX50. This is a 27 inch 1440p 500 Hertz QD OLED. Yes, 500 frames per second. And the instant response times, or at least near instant, of OLED with HDR True Black 500, which means yes, the full screen brightness as well as rough 10% window brightness should be increasing. Just for example, the previous generation True Black 400 displays required at least 250 nits full screen and 400 in a 8% plus 2% type of window. Now it has to reach up to 300 nits full screen and 500 nits in that same 10%-ish window type of measurement, which means the HDR presentation should also be significantly improved on these new OLEDs as well. Now, because it's 500 Hertz, it comes with a new Clear MR21000 certification, which basically just means this is gonna give you crazy good motion performance. Everything in motion, let me tell you, seeing it in person at 500 Hertz, is going to look dang near crystal clear. I, it's really good. This particular one comes with DisplayPort 1.4, but fear not, there is an upgraded model with an upgraded DisplayPort 2.1 as well. This will, of course, allow for firmware updates. It'll have 15 watt Type-C power delivery and come in at 849 US dollars. And let me know in the comments below, would you pay a fat 850 smackaroos for 500 Hertz QD OLED with the brand new HDR True Black 500 certification. And would you pay a tiny bit more for the MPG model, the 271 QRX50? This will have all the same specs, except for it's gonna have DisplayPort 2.1 and a 98 watt Type-C power delivery. And it's gonna have their new OLED Care 3.0 with the AI Care sensor. Look, if you want the short version of it, it's gonna have mandatory OLED refresh from 16 to 24 hours. Now that means you got to run this thing for 24 hours straight before it gives you a notification. For the love of God, don't do that. What this means is you should probably never see this notification again, as it should only do its pixel refreshes when you leave the monitor. It shouldn't be bothering you anymore. It also has the new sensor, which look, it, it's basically just going to sense when you're close to the screen. They go into the details of how they're using an NPU algorithm to make it better. I'm sure it is better than a regular sensor and it is gonna be integrated into Windows so that you can adjust how it behaves when you leave and come back to the device. So that's cool and all, but in my opinion, this is just basically a nicer motion sensor that will help defeat any burn-in issues, which let's be honest, are already probably never going to occur on your monitor. I have rode one real hard for about a year with no safety features enabled at all. And I really couldn't burn it in. So good luck burning these things in. But if you're really hell bent on it, now they have even more safety features. Also, this one will come in at just 50 bucks more for all those features at 899 USD. Now, if you want something a little bit more affordable, they have another QD OLED, the MSI MAG 272 QPW. It's effectively a white version of their 27 inch 1440p 240 Hertz OLEDs, except for jumping from 240 to 280 Hertz and all the other specs are gonna remain essentially the same. It does also come with DisplayPort 1.4 in Type-C with 15 watt power delivery, but 1.4 should be enough for this one, so worry not. And this comes in at five. $5.99, so a very good price point for those type of specs and the amazing colors and contrast of QD OLED. Well, let's say you want something a little bit brighter. Well, they also showed off their MSI MPG 274 URDFW E16M. My God, MSI. What is that name? Anyway, this is gonna be a 27 inch 4K 160 Hertz rapid IPS mini LED. I know a lot of you out there have been asking for a mini LED 1152 zone monitor. By the way, all the QD OLEDs are gonna be glossy once again, so thank God. Uh, this one I believe is gonna have an anti-glare finish, so if you don't like that, you don't. If you're okay with it, you're gonna, well look, you gotta deal with it. <laughs> if you want the brightness, but 
it is gonna have an HDR 1000 certification, so you are gonna get some really bright visuals on this thing, and it will have HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 1.4a. Now, this is actually, you know, whether or not you're looking for a mini LED or OLED, I gotta admit, the price point on this thing is really good. They're asking $499, and if you're looking for, you know, an entry-level HDR experience in terms of you're gonna get much brighter, and in some cases, better HDR than QD OLED, but you will give up the infinite contrast as well as the motion performance. If you're okay with those compromises, $499, I think is actually a really good price. But then we got the final one that they showed off, which is the MSI MPG 242R space X60N. What a name. This is a 24 inch 1440p 600 hertz rapid TN panel. Yes, it's not mini LED, it's not OLED, we're talking regular degular LCD with a super fast TN panel. It's gonna have DisplayPort 1.4 and HDMI 2.1 and USB type C with 98 watt power delivery. But the selling feature is definitely the 600 Hertz, which is gonna appeal at 24 inches to a lot of esports junkies. It also supports four by three aspect ratios. So you can do 1280 by 960 or 1024 by 760, also at 600 Hertz. However, and look, look, MSI, this is a very impressive monitor, and I do want to see what it looks like in motion. I, I did kind of see a bit of it at their Computex area. It did look really impressive, but from what I'm told, right now the MSRP is $999. At that price point, I would really, really push pretty much almost every single person on the planet to go towards the 500 hertz QD OLED. Look, I believe these QD OLEDs will also be able to shrink the screen, so if you're hell-bent on getting a 24-inch screen, you should be able to go into the QD OLED and reduce it to 24 inches, and you will get a much better image quality. You'll get much better contrast, you're gonna get a clearer image because of the glossy coating, and you're also likely gonna get very similar response times out of this thing, so in motion it should look pretty much the same. In some cases, I believe it'll actually look better in motion, despite it being 100 hertz slower, and look, even though it is gonna be technically faster on the 600 hertz display, we are talking like subhuman differences in latency. I really, 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 truly believe that the 500 hertz QD OLED is a much better purchase. It'll be either 150 or 100 US dollars cheaper, and I think a much, much better display if you can fit a 27 inch display. But for those esports junkies out there who cannot fit 27 inches on your desk, Yes, this 24 inch will certainly be, I'm sure, a very great monitor and will appeal to you. But now let's finally touch on the firmware update that should be coming out, hopefully to all QD OLEDs, but I do know they were displaying it on their new 2025 models, and that's their brand new Peak 1000 mode. Now, I believe what they were calling it was EOTF Boost on the firmware that I saw. Uh, I wanted to bring this up again, even though I have mentioned this in a previous video, because I think a lot of people actually missed out on this feature. So I really wanted to highlight it on this video, make sure everybody sees it because, now look, this may come at the cost of slight HDR accuracy. However, it is likely going to boost the HDR performance of these monitors pretty significantly. I say that because I put it side by side in the 500 True Black mode, in the Peak 1000 mode, and in this new EOTF Boost mode. And effectively, the EOTF Boost mode, from the limited time I had hands on with it, seemed to appear more like the 500 True Black mode in full screen or brighter situations while still giving you those Peak 1000 highlights. So it may be that MSI has finally, to some degree, fixed this issue. And I think based on what I saw, that they might end up actually having the brightest HDR OLEDs on the market. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you juice this parasocial relationship as much as possible. Let's become direct blood relatives. You can become my best friend ever. Okay, maybe not really. Uh, but. I would appreciate if you subscribe and if you want to join the Patreon, I'll have it in the description below so I can keep you guys up to date. We can talk on Discord, etc., on all these new features, especially once I finally do my thorough testing of this new EOTF Boost mode, which I think might elevate MSI's OLEDs to being the best on the market. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, RuPro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And now RuPro is offering a new detachable and upgradable pure fiber cable 
bundle that sends the same 48 gigabits per second signal through its ultra thin and flexible housing, making it easier to route through walls. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.